So today I'm going to show you how to make this stitch. This is called Trinity stitch. So it's similar to a crochet star stitch, but it uses way less yarn and it gives you this very pretty pattern. So you see, this is what I was trying to make. It's a crop top, but it's not complete yet. But I wanted to show you the crochet tutorial for this Trinity stitch. It's a very pretty stitch and I loved it. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to show, going to be showing you with a simple white yarn, and I think I'm going to stitch my hook. So to start this stitch, you need to have the even number of stitches on your crochet hook. So make a loop, pull it, and now make a even number chain. So I'm going to start with 12, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So to start, I I always work in the back chain, so not in the front chain. I will always work in this chain. So to start, you are going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So make a single crochet. Now, to make the Trinity stitch, you are going to start with, st th you have to stitch three stitches together, alright? Three single crochets. So, you are going to make one stitch here, one here, and one here. So, let's start. One. Now, you have two loops. Now, go to the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Now, you have three loops on your hook. Now, go to the next stitch. And up another loop now you have four stitches on your hook now you are going to yarn over and pull through all four loops now you are going to close this by making a chain but don't pull it too tight because you have to chain uh, to crochet in this stitch so now we are going to continue this by using this the, the last stitch like the last stitch of this chain and make three double crochets again like three single crochets in this three single crochets together again so let's start one two and three so now you have four loops now yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one now again one two three so put your hook through this last chain last stitch pull up a loop our next chain pull up a loop and the next chain now you have four chain on your low hook and four loop four loops so now you are going to yarn over and pull through all four then chain again and repeat it till you reach the end of it now i have two two chains left which is perfect because i need one two three to make four loops on my hook now one two and this is the last three now i have four and I'm going to uh, to pull through all these two, but I will not make a uh, a chain here. Like I won't do the single crochet here, like I did in the all the other stitches. I'm just going to make a single crochet in the same last stitch here. This will give your uh, the, give your work an even look, so you won't be missing something. Now you are going to make this last single crochet here and chain one and turn your work. Now the first stitch of every row will be the single crochet, the simple single crochet. Now you are going to continue with the same pattern, one, two, and three. Now you are going to make the stitch, chain, and in this next start here. So one, two, three. Now you have four loops now chain over yarn over and pull through all four now one more is chain stitch now one two three four 
three. We have four loops, yarn over, pull through all four, and then one more chain stitch. Now again, one, two, three. We have four loops, yarn over, pull through all, and then a chain. Then one, two, and three. All right, we have the last three stitches. One, two, and three. So you pull over, pull through all four loops, and then you make a single crochet here. We do not make the chain in the last stitch because I we need an even look. So once you start making this, these are this is a very simple stitch, and it's just a repeat of these stitches again and again till you reach the desired length. So let's make a small uh, small this so we can see the stitch better. Now you have to make this chain a little bit loose on the loose side so you won't have to you know like push and pull through this stitch so, uh, to pull through the loops because you will be making more loops in the same stitch. But don't make it too loose so that you won't have holes in your work. So now that we have the stretch, the swatch, you can see a little bit clearer the pattern. It's like stars here. You can see like these stitches together. So it, it's more like a star stitch, but it's very pretty and it uses way less yarn than the normal star stitch. You can see it in the bigger pattern as well. It's since it's a bit a little bit shaded yarn, so you can see it in a, a better way in this yarn instead of this the one we just made but it's the same stitch so this is how you make trinity stitch and you can use it to make blankets or tops or sweaters or anything it's a very dense stitch you see there there are no holes in it so like usually you have single crochet and double crochet so there are holes but there are no holes in this you can see some holes in this one because this is a very very thin yarn and i used a little bit a bigger hook for this so i can make it tutorial for this but if you use a smaller yarn for the yarn that uh, smaller hook for the yarn you need so you won't have any stitches any holes in it so that is how you make trinity stitch i hope you liked it so if you like if you liked it please give it a like and let me know in the comments what more stitches you want to see and don't forget to subscribe thank you bye